NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. It's all about the Eastern Conference. That's where the action is today as the Atlanta Hawks get ready to bat. And here we go with a look at the State Farm starting lineups. And one of the players we'll be seeing in this one, Al Horford. Yeah, he's a physical, hard-working big man, kind of an old-school power forward. Great IQ for the game. You know, he may not be the most explosive player in the league, but he's got a lot of substance. This guy's a winner. And that work ethic and character of his extends to rebounding as well. I mean, he's extremely aggressive in pursuit of the ball. He'll get his share of second chance buckets offensively for sure. Well, the question mark the last couple of years for the Knicks has been defense. And I think the addition of Tyson Chandler on the interior was the answer uh, to those questions. And Chandler really helped improve that defense. Now it's a matter of building that foundation uh, as a team and, and really coming up with a defensive plan and sticking to it and allowing it to grow. Almost every night, an offensive board that ends with a slam. On defense, New York. Teague with the ball. Now Felton defending. Teague kicks to Morrow. The three. They get it back. Horford's shot is good. He will fight you down low, guys. Really battles in there. He comes up with a lot of second chance buckets. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Larry Drew. And uh, Doris, what'd you find? Oh, oh, get it! Oh, 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 what's up now? Oh, oh, oh. Guys, I'm going to need just a second to get myself together here. <laughs> He's just speechless, doesn't it, Clark? Huh? Wow. Man, I don't blame you, Clark. That dunk was unbelievable. Here's Horford. An easy two points on the layup. And hard work on the boards, guys, leading to that putback. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the first. And the dunk by Chandler. Defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, the D pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark, wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I, I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He uh, shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Gets it to go. Love the finish there. Not much defense, though. No felt. Chandler with the screen on T. Up with it. Good. Tyson Chandler. Six points for Tyson Chandler. Well, if not for the Knicks record last season, I think Tyson Chandler might have made the all-star team. When you consider his impact at the defensive end of the floor, not to mention shooting almost 70% from the field. Here's Morrow over Felton. Morrow, no good. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. Brewer. And there's another one for the Knicks. We're going back to Chandler in his field goal percentage. 68% from the field. A pretty remarkable accomplishment. The only player with a higher field goal percentage in the season was Will Chamberlain at almost 73%. Although he did struggle at the line. Uh, but you think about that? 68% field goal shooting? That's amazing. And the basket by Morrow. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Felton kicks to Stoudemire. Stoudemire left side. Stoudemire left side. There's the pass to Brewer. Four on the clock for three. Felton shot is no good. Plenty of offense in this closely contested group. We got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. It's the Knicks up two. Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and they put together some nice momentum here. Steve, I like the looks they've gotten on offense. A lot of good ones. Since moving to Atlanta in 1968 from St. Louis, the Hawks have been a steady presence in the postseason, Kevin. Still, that penultimate goal of an NBA title. Lou Williams, the two, and Josh Smith, the three. Pachulia is out there with Ivan Johnson, and it's Harris in at the one spot. That's the group start the second quarter for the Hawks. Here's Kidd after Devin Harris's score. Kidd passes to Smith. Kept alive. Kidd dishes to Camby over Pachulia. 
goes up with it again. And it's Anthony getting it to go. You're going to have a heck of a time finding any flaws in his approach to the game offensively. Williams kicks to Johnson. Johnson off the pick from Smith. Johnson, the pass to Smith. And it's going to be a three-second call. With the Hawks in their playoff history, they've always seemed to be the good team that just was overpowered, it seems, Steve, in the end. Yeah, they've never had that transcendent player. You know, the closest guy they had to that was probably Dominique Wilkins. Uh, but he was playing in the era when Bird and Magic and Jordan were dominating the league. So uh, it's just been uh, one of those things for Atlanta. They just haven't been able to, to get over that hump. They've been good. They just haven't been great. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, Knicks coach Mike Woodson asked Amari Stoudemire to spend his summer working on developing his low post moves. Amari said, it's actually great because I've never had a coach that asked me to work on my low post game. I've been a pick and roll player my whole career. Being able to shoot the ball from outside and also have a quick first step is an advantage for me. And now to apply some low post moves will even be that much better. Kevin, you have to love the arsenal. What a scary thought. Thanks, Doris. And a smart move. I mean, if he loses some of his quickness, he can still use his strength on the low block. The Hawks again can't hit. The Knicks leading by four. And Shumper kicks to Smith. Down goes the slam. That's what I like, a nice, strong finish inside. That's what he does. He's got that dunker mentality. Mm, just a tremendous athlete, guys, able to go up and finish over everybody defensively, even the big guys down low. Here's Williams. The Knicks making the shot over Stoudemire. Goes right up, and Stoudemire with the block. And he recovers it. And another shot. Johnson. And finally they hit one. Here's Felton looking for his first bucket of the game. No blind shot. And again, it's J.R. Smith. He didn't get off to much of a start early on, but seems to have shaken off the rust here in the quarter. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Williams again to Shumper. That drops. It's been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Um, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. Felton kicks to jump. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second ball. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. The open shot, Horford, and that's not going to go. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Next up front, leading by four. And get ready now for the Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce. The second half will be coming up right after that on 2K Sports. Now, presented by Sprint. And it's been great basketball going on in Atlanta. Let's get right to it. The Knicks doing well so far. And nice teamwork offensively. Moving the ball around, what a great way to play. Tyson Chandler off to a good start. And J.R. Smith's also been getting it done for them. And the Hawks have been plugging away. The second chance buckets certainly adding up in this one. They pounded the offensive glass. Al Horford leads the team in scoring. He's chipped in four points and three rebounds as well. And that will be all for us. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you next time. start of the third quarter welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far Tyson Chandler really making a difference here now it's been nothing but positive for this team the way he's been really selective with his with his shot making uh, been very unselfish I think this has been an efficient performance for him I agree with you Steve very few questionable decisions if any from him as he has always looked for the best shot every trip down the floor I mean I like the fact that he's judicious in his approach Checking out the group for Mike Woodson to start this second half. Big three, Carmelo Anthony, Amari Stoudemire, and Tyson Chandler at the three, four, and five. Belton is out there with Ronnie Brewer. Well, the Knicks the last few years haven't really been known for being a great defensive team. Uh, but maybe that will be in better position, at least transition-wise, defensively. The first one falls. 
I think the question for this year is whether or not they'll be able to keep that same energy and focus for a full season. I mean, they have the players to get it done, so we'll see how it plays out. Well, Kyle Korver is going to do one thing better than just about anybody in the league, and that's shoot the three-point ball. And he's got unlimited range, beautiful stroke, and you have to respect his range as a defense. He just makes it look so easy, too, when he shoots. He'll be almost statuesque, but each and every time he fires from deep, he hits it. Here's T following the basket by Raymond Felton. They grab their own miss. The feet to Smith. Second shot opportunity. Goes up again. And the basket by Morrow. And they get one to go now after missing their first three shots. Maybe this will kick them into gear. Teague against Hilton. No dice from nine feet out. The Hawks trail by three. Well, you feel good for Larry Drew, who's in his third season as a head coach because he spent 18 years as an assistant before he finally got his big break with the Hawks. In all, he's been with Atlanta since 2004, so he knows these players well. And Larry Drew well liked to be tougher. You need to, to discipline players a little bit. It, it can be harder to have those relationships. With... Both free throws, good from Anthony. Well, one of the reasons Atlanta has been a pretty solid team in the last few years in the Eastern Conference is that they've got some big bodies. This is a physical team on the front line. And even with the injury to Al Horford last season, uh, the Hawks were able to hold their own down low. Now here's Williams. Lock at six. Here's Smith. Drains it from 17 feet out. Smith's got his first bucket of the night. Well, none of the defenders were quick enough to step out and get a hand in his face on that jump shot. Big mistake there. Here's Smith. Good. And the Knicks lead by five. Smith. The free throw drops for Smith. Well, one of the big advantages for the Knicks is that you know they'll always have money to spend. This is one of the most lucrative organizations in the entire NBA. They've never been afraid of spending a lot on salary in the past. And even with the new collective bargaining agreement rules, uh, I would expect to see the Knicks well into the luxury tax. Now here's Williams. Over Smith. Here's Pachulia. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the show. Go up. And that just has to improve, guys. I mean, the free throw shooting is something that has to get better. Felton in for Iman Shumper. And Pachulia drops them both. There's 25 seconds left in the third quarter. J.R. Smith on the wing. Fires the three. And that comes off the assist by Raymond Felton. Felton's got four assists in the game. Smith sets the pick for Williams. Over Chandler. Top of the key jumper, no good. And offensively, a great choice. He really fit that definition here tonight. Yeah, he's really been the X factor in this game. You know, to be honest, I don't think they were ready for him defensively. It seemed like they just didn't have a plan on how to guard him. Well, you know, one of the things about having a guy like him come off the bench is that it gives you a burst. He's a power surge, and he creates immediate matchup problems, especially when he gets hot. Now, here's Felton, following the miss by Lewis Williams. The dish, the kid. The eight-footer, rebounded by Devin Harris. The Hawks trail by seven. Josh Smith and Al Horford, the big men. Lewis Williams out there with Devin Harris, and it's Corbett in at the small four. And that one falls for Williams. And both free throws good for Williams. I like the way they're putting their bodies on the line this half and getting themselves to the free throw line. Well, coaches love that. I mean, when you're down, you get to the line. Not only do you get free free throws, but you stop the clock and you get your defense set up. Here's Anthony. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Knicks lead by seven. The Hawks shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Smith, guarded by Stoudemire, 14 feet away. Here's Horford, and so he draws the foul. On That's good from Horford. 
so Horford gets two. Getting it done at the line, as he usually does. And that could be huge in a tight game like what we have here. Two minutes. Felton dishes to Stoudemire. Shot is off. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Williams with the ball. Now Smith defending. Williams passes to Morrow. He kicks it to Horford. And the layup falls. Neither team having any trouble putting the ball in the basket. Nope, not. I mean, we haven't seen much defense either. I mean, both of these teams really locked in to try and outscore each other. Dishes it to Smith. Williams comes with the double team. And it's Smith missing. The Hawks trail by three. Teague kicks to Williams. Uncovered. That's good. And so Teague with the assist. Six points for Williams. Felton dishes to Chandler. Kicks to Stoudemire. Stoudemire left side. It falls! What an offensive force Stoudemire can be. The Hawks have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. He feeds it to Williams. Sinks it! And that shot brings them to within just one. Came through there with a key basket. Yeah, that was you stepping up when it matters most. Felton kicks to Stoudemire. Outside for Felton. Shot clock at five. Smith outside. Takes the three. Smith missing again. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Where we make our move right now. Go take it. Kevin? Kyle Corver, who's checked in for Anthony Mark. Outside, Williams. Williams gets a screen from Horford. Williams passes to Horford. Count it! They're amped up now, Kevin. After trailing for so long, they finally pulled ahead. A cold-blooded trip to the line there. They're just one stop away from winning this thing now. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. He nails it, and we're tied up. And a big play there. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's T. Oh, off target. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. 2K Sports, back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. And what great competition we're seeing so far. After four quarters, a stalemate. And we'll see now how these two teams and these few minutes of basketball pan out. All few have been ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the court for Atlanta. Josh Smith and Al Horford, the big men. Teague out there with Anthony Morrow. Felton dishes to Carmelo. Here's Chandler. The monster one-hand slam. He spoke loud on making a statement that play. Yeah, that was brute force battling for the offensive board and taking it right back up there. Mm, that's just all about strength and energy, guys. Now here is Horford. That's good. And the Hawks lead by two. Whoa, -ho -ho, Nelly. Listen to that. That shot eliciting a roar from this gigantic crowd. That was huge, guys. Absolutely huge. Here's Felton. Fade away. Gets it to go. Now here's Teague. Back to Horford. Chandler on him. Horford kicks to Corbin. From outside the arc. They get the rebound. Connects! Ah! Boy, he's been so dependable here this game. Really playing well offensively. Bunnick shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. Jumps up. Picked his pocket. Clark, they'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. 
Here's Morrow, covered by Brewer. Teague, the pass to Smith. Six on the shot clock. Teague kicks to Morrow. Misses the three. This could be a turning point. Kevin, critical possession here. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Felton kicks to Anthony. Stoudemire setting the pick for Anthony. Good! He has tied up this game. Overtime in full swing here. Two minutes off the clock. Here's Teague. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last. Well, we thought we might wrap it up in regulation. Then it looked like overtime number one might yield a winner. But instead, the overtime periods are piling up. And guys, still no winner yet. Here's Pachulia. Into Smith. Using his post moves to get the two points. Neither team having any trouble putting the ball in the basket. Nope, not. I mean, we haven't seen much defense either. I mean, both of these teams really locked in to try and outscore each other. They now take the lead. 13 points for Carmelo Anthony. The defense got butterflies the second that shot went up because they know he typically delivers in the clutch. Smith. Knicks with the rebound. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. Impressive shot there, making it on the move. Six points for Raymond Felton. I like the way they're working the ball inside because when you do that, you get higher percentage shots, and typically good things happen. Shot seems to be a little awry today, just off a fraction of. They've got to have him pick it up, though, and soon. He kicks to Mello. Anthony drawing the double team. Felton kicks to Candy. That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Brewer is just developing. Cut Excellent find there on that inbound. Really good execution. Teague with the ball. He dishes it to Corbin. Looking to end the run. Brewer grabs the board. Well, I tell you what, that's fantastic defense. Well, one of the best three-point shooters in the league. The key there was not to give him much space before he took that shot. And that's the only way to stop him, Clark. The defender has to be all over him with a hand in his face. Anthony, five on the clock. Chandler, no good. So hard not to go for it when you see that chance at the alley-oop. Bet he wishes he hadn't, though. Horford, headed by Stoudemire. Atlanta again, missing. He can't get anything to drop in the way. And they go to the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead. So he goes two for two at the lot, and it's a seven-point game. So nice work. Here's Harris. Shot to stop the run. And he was fouled on the way up. Good on the first, and that trims the lead to six. And Harris drops them both. And so they foul intentionally. So the first one drops, and that increases. Second one is good. Being both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Now here's Teague. This overtime just didn't come together for him. Tough pin. He had to clear some space for himself to get that rebound. Not easy in there among the big bodies. So it's New York picking up the win. Clark, a double overtime game can really take its toll on the players. And after this one, the officials, the fans, everyone's going to have to take a, uh, a needed rest. Yeah, exactly. But I tell you what, they showed me the heart of a champion here in this one. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Raymond Felton.